This video is an introduction to the Echoes platform and its primary areas of functionality. The Echoes platform was developed as part of the Echoes project, a three and a half year research project looking at the effects of climate change on the habitats of two wetland bird species, the curlew and Greenland white-fronted goose, or GWFG. ECHOES is funded by the European Regional Development Fund through the Island Wales Cooperation Programme. You can log into the platform in one of two ways, as a normal user with the credentials given to you or as a guest user. As a normal user, you will see all areas of the platform. As a guest user, certain functions will be limited. Once you are logged in, on the left hand side, you will see there are five icons four of which are the main pillars of functionality for the platform. These house the various tools that are available for land managers and policy makers to help make decisions about their sites. First we have sites, then map view, then workflow, and lastly alerts. Sites. This area is the foundation block of the platform and an important first step. Here you can create a site's boundary and give some brief information about that site. If you manage multiple sites, you will see a map view with the extent of all of them and a data grid matching them with some metadata on each. Clicking on the name of the site in the data table will take you through to the site details. Here you can see all the information associated to that site, including its subsites, workflows and alerts. There is also an attachments section for you to add any media or documents to keep together for that site. If the site that you manage is very large or varies in terms of topography or vegetation, you may want to break your site down into subsites. These subsites, once created, act the same way as the original site and can have information associated with them in the same view. You may wish to do this in order to create a more detailed workflow and or alerts which we will come on to in a moment. Map view. The map view area of the site is where many of the innovative tools of the platform can be viewed and used. The layered list along the left side allows for access to various types of data. Multiple layers can be visible on the map together so they can help aid in the analysis of a particular site or area. This section includes the earth observation tools and climate projections. The layer list is also where many of the additional findings and research outputs of the ECHOES project can be visualised. These include habitat classification maps, species tracking and probability maps, tracking data of the curlew and GWFG, tagged as part of the project, across the three study sites. Kevney Valley in Anglesey, North Wales, the Dovey Estuary in Mid Wales and Ballytage Borough in South West Ireland. Layers such as climate layers have two ways of being viewed once toggled on. The first way, number one, on the map you can click a point and see the value, then play as a time series. The second way, number two, by clicking the chart tab, you will see all the information available in a chart view instead, which you can expand to full screen if needed. The EO layers are split into daily, monthly and yearly product images. The daily or single products and monthly products are where you'll find the layers available that have been processed for your created sites. When you toggle a layer on, you will see the processed image for your sites and a time series of the available data. You can also see a side-by-side -side view of different dates by clicking the Compare tab and the satellite icon to choose different image dates. These dates go back to 1984, which can help show how an area has changed over time. They also cover the levels of biodiversity, vegetation types, rainfall levels and moisture index, and much more. They are all integrated as separate layers. Workflow. The tools in this section are designed to support land managers to plan and carry out actions and activities for their sites however they like. They are split into requests and steps. They can be used by managers to coordinate work that needs to be undertaken with regards to regular maintenance of the site or subsite. This function can also be used to plan activities that will mitigate against the unexpected effects of a storm surge, for example, in order to protect the habitats of particular species or certain vegetation. Workflows can be created new or form a workflow you have previously used as a template.
Alerts. Customizable alerts with parameters and dates set by you can be created, which when triggered may call for an action to be taken. A land manager may wish to create an alert to let them know that when a Category 3 storm is forecast to take place, which would involve a seawall, for example, being breached, actions to combat the alert can then be created as a workflow, which employees can check off once completed so the overall site manager can coordinate the actions necessary for the well-being of the site. If you'd like to find out more about the Echoes platform or the project, please get in touch at infoechoesproj.eu. Thank you for watching.